Hi friends, this is Satish Nikam, and today we are going to discuss about the designing of parallel adder. Before this, we have discussed about the half adder and full adder. If we want to design a parallel adder, we have to select the number of bits first. Now, suppose we consider for our problem statement, we have to design the n bit parallel adder. So it performs the addition of two n bit numbers. Now here we consider the four bit parallel adder. For our discussion, means we have to add the two numbers a and b, which are of four bit. Means a is a three, a two, a one, and a zero are the four bits, and b is actually b three, b two, b one, and b zero four bits. If we add these a and b, we will get the result s, which is in the form of s three, s two, s one, and s zero. So before going to start this topic. We will have to revise one part, and which is a full adder. In full adder, as we have discussed in the previous lectures, we are having three bit input: a zero, b zero, and c in. After the addition of these three bits, we are getting the output s zero, which is a sum, and we are getting a carry. This is a block diagram of full adder, which we have discussed in the previous lecture. And for this, we are we got the two expression, which is Sum is equal to a x or b x or c, and carry is equal to a c plus a b plus b c. These two expression we have already discussed in the previous lecture. But in parallel adder, we have to cascade the full adders as per our requirement. Here we are going to discuss the four bit binary numbers. So definitely we have to cascade the four full adder circuits like this. So this is my LSB bit full adder circuit. The next one is a full next full adder circuit, which is having input C1, A1, B1, and output S1, C2. Third bit is having input A2, B2, C2, and having output S2 and C3. And last bit, which is a MSB bit, which is having input A3, B3. And C3 having output S3 and C3. So this type of cascading circuit, if we have prepared, it can perform the parallel addition of A and B, which are two four-bit numbers, and we will get the output S3, S2, S1, S0, which we have discussed here. Now we will consider one example here so that we will understand the functioning of this parallel adder which we have designed. We will consider A and B. These are the two numbers, and we got the output S. So, if we consider one example, A, A is a four-bit number, zero one zero one, and B is also a four-bit number, zero one zero one. If we want to perform this addition, A zero, B zero. A zero is the LSB bit of A, and B zero is the LSB bit of B. So, this one one we have to apply here as A zero and B zero. So we got a zero one, b zero one, and as this is the LSB bit, so for this full adder, definitely the C in bit is zero. When we perform this addition by using this sum and carry equation, now as my three inputs are there one, one, and zero, so definitely sum is equal to one x or one x or zero. So we got the output sum is equal to zero. And if we find out the carry bit here, A and C we got here zero, A and B we got here one, and B C we got here B and C. If we make the ending of these two, we got zero. We got here A B is equal to one, A C is equal to zero, and B C is equal to zero. When we make the R of these three bits, we will get the output one, which is a C output. Same way, the next bits, my A1 and B1, we have to consider this is my A1 and this is my B1, and the carry from the previous bit, LSB bit, we got as an input for the next full adder circuit. So we are having A10, B10, and we are already having the C1 input one, which is from the LSB bit. If we find out sum and carry for this full adder circuit, so definitely zero zero one. We got the sum is equal to one and carry is equal to see here A and B. These are zero, so we got AB is equal to zero, 
A and C we got here ending zero, and B and C, B and C we also got here zero. So carry bit we got here zero. Same way, if we consider the next full adder circuit for the next bit, we have A2 is equal to one, B2 is equal to one, and already we are having the carry bit from the previous. We got zero here. Now we are going to make find out the sum is equal to A X or B X or C. So we will get definitely it is sum is equal to zero. And carry if we check A C. Now A and C is zero. A and B is one. And B and C is zero. If we make the R of this, we will get the carry bit one. For the MSB bit, which is the last full adder circuit, here A3 is equal to zero, B3 is equal to zero, and we are already having C3 is equal to one. Now for that, we will find out S3 by using the sum. We will have zero XOR zero XOR one. So we got the sum is equal to one. And when we find out carry, AC is equal to zero, AB is equal to zero, and BC is also zero. So definitely carry bit we will got here zero. So this way we got the output for this four bit parallel adder. Now if we find out it by using arithmetic laws, one plus one is equal to zero, and we got the carry one. Now this one plus zero plus zero, we know the truth table of full adder circuit, and from that if we find out here. Sum is equal to one and carry is equal to zero. If we add this zero plus one plus one, we will get here sum zero and carry one. Now this one plus zero plus zero, we will get the sum one and carry is equal to zero. This way, if we perform the addition by using this parallel adder which we have designed, we will get the same output here. Basically, if we check here, this one zero zero one zero one and this is zero one zero is nothing but This is five and this is five. And if we add this five five here, we will get here one zero one zero, which is nothing but a ten. And that ten output we are getting by using this parallel adder. Here, this parallel adder which we have designed, the ready-made ICs are also available. So if we check this IC four bit parallel adder, in which we are having A zero, A one, A two, A three, four bit input here, B zero, B one. B2, B3, four bit. Another input is there. We are having C in zero. C in zero means LSB bit. We are having carry input. Now, if you consider this is a total number, uh, eight bit, and this is my LSB bit, so definitely C in is equal to zero. So that you have to consider. So this is my C in zero. We are having here, and we are getting the output here. If you check. S0, S1, S2, S3. S0, S1, S2, S3. This is summation of this A and B we are getting here, and we can also get here the carry depending upon the input of this uh, A and B. Now, this type of hardware is available, or we can say the ICs are available. And one of the IC is 74 LS283 is one IC in which we are getting four bit parallel adder. This way. We have designed the parallel adder, and we are having ready-made IC 74 LS283, which we have discussed in detail. This is all about the designing of parallel adder. Thank you.